Good afternoon. Today we're reading the first chapter of the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed. Ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of our purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to, to, to us ward, who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. So that was chapter 1 of the Epistle of Paul, the Apostle to the Ephesians. So Lord, we thank you that as believers in Christ, we are accepted in the Beloved, and we are uh, your children. And we thank you for that, that gift. We thank you for the word. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ who laid down his life, shed his blood on the cross for our sin, and rose from the dead after three days, and is alive today, and will come back one day. And we look to that day. And we, it's the blessed hope. We look for the return of the Lord, the second coming. So, Lord, we praise you and we thank you. May you be glorified. May you lead us unto truth. May we obey you each day, all day. Forgive us of our sin, of being uh, doubtful, fearful, unbelieving, critical, complaining, allowing self-pity to enter, allowing fear of man to uh, into our hearts. We embrace the fear of God. We walk humbly before you, realizing that apart from you, we are nothing. 
and also knowing by the grace of God we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So Lord, just guide us and direct us. We thank you, we praise you, we honor you. We, I pray for all the people that are watching, that you bless each one, draw us each closer to you, guide our family and friends to you, I pray. I pray for salvation for our family and friends in Jesus' name. And we just say hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Amen. So I hope you have a great day, a wonderful day in the Lord.